Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Wednesday. We're starting off the day with a little baseball. Jaspie's 10-box Grand Slam baseball mixer featuring an autographed baseball autographed by Vlad Guerrero Jr. So at the end of the break, we'll be giving this autograph away. Let me show you the, see the autograph here? Where are you? There it is. There it is right there. Vlad Guerrero Jr. Yeah, he killed it last night. Two dingers last night. That is hashtag good for the hobby. And there were no doubters too, so we'll set that aside over here. This is a random team break, so big thanks to all of these folks getting into the action. And there's all the teams right there. All teams are in. And let's randomize each list six times. Two and a four. One, two, three, four, five, and six and final time. Claw Ninja's in the house too. After six times, we got Rex down to Sean. And then six times, two and a four for the teams. One. One. There you go. Two, three, four, five, and sixth and final time. After six, we've got the Texas Rangers down to the Tampa Bay Rays. All right, so Rex, you have the Rangers. Joe P. with the Baltimore Orioles. Kip Kip Hooray with the Angels. EO with the White Sox. Fidel Cairo with the A's. Smitty has the Brew Crew. Benny with the Red Sox. Darren with the Cardinals. Jason Scott with the Yankees. Sean Parr with the Royals. Fulton, you got the Reds. Smitty has the Rockies. Juan, you have the Giants. The Gigantes. Chris Parent with the Bravos. Tigres for Derek Williams. Friars for Zach Hargrove. TJ, you got the Metropolitans. Dylan with the Nats. Zach with the Buckos, Levi with the Snakes, Tony with the Phils, Liam with the Strohs, Rick Barker with the Bluebirds, Cubbies for Zach, Mary Lou, you have my Dodgers. I'm wearing my Dodgers hat, it's backwards. Sean with the M's, Carlos with the Fish, Joseph with the Twins, Ryan with the Tribe, and the Rays for Sean. Let's order these alphabetically. Now feel free to trade if you'd like. Keep in mind, the boxes that are in here, we got one box of 2015, one box of 2016, a box of 2017, one box, two boxes of 18, and then one, two, three, four boxes of 2019. Two boxes of that 2019 Bowman Hobby. So we'll give it a few moments for trade. Smitty wants to, to get his A's, Fidel. So if you're in, in, interested in trading that, he's got the Brewers. Or the Rockies for you. And of course, the autograph baseball will be a separate dice roll at the end. And speaking of baseball, folks, don't forget to uh, knock out that prison baseball. It's a brand new release, jazbeescasebreaks.com. No, no, nothing for the A's. Anyone else? Trade window going once. Trade window going twice. TWC in the chat. Trade window closed. Let's print. Let's rip. First break of the day. And I'm sure we'll get a lot of prism done today. And then we'll see what else we can squeeze in throughout the day. I'm sure there's some other fun stuff we can do too. All right, there you go. It's printing out. Let's go with the oldest box first. We'll go back in time to 2015 Bowman Chrome Hobby. Here's the official printout first off. There it is. Thanks everyone for getting in. Appreciate everyone giving this a shot. This is a good mixer. So there is 2015 on the bottom right here. 
And here's all the, let me show you all the boxes right there. There's everything. This break. So we'll do this one on the bottom right here with, uh, with my boy Jack Peterson on the cover. Where's my knife? Jay's thinking that Alex Verdugo might be in 2015. That'd be a good time to get uh, Alex Verdugo. He's been playing pretty well, taking advantage of of the playing time he's getting with uh, AJ Pollock on the IL. I don't know, if someone, could, if someone could check the checklist, we can also double check. That sounds right, though. Uh, let's see. Are there any... F are there... Oh, a dual autograph? What? <laughs> That's pretty nice. Let's hide that really quick. You guys, everyone saw it, right? Two finals so far. Yankees beat the uh, Orioles 5-3. to three. And Twins beat the Angels 8-7. to seven. Joe P saying Baltimore, really? Yeah. Wait till I pull you a Cal Ripken Jr. autograph out of Diamond Kings. Or out of Gypsy Queen. Wait till I get you a Super Fractor Manny Machado in 2016 Topps Chrome Baseball. I don't know. Jay, was it? I can't believe the auto was just sitting out, sitting out there like that. Rex is saying Ian Hat, Kingery, and Ben Intendi in 2015. Benny saying looked like a cinder guard, maybe. We'll, we'll find out. Who was the other guy? Is it going to be a randomizer? One happy person, one sad person? All right, good luck, everybody. Or Starling Marte, $4.99. When's, when's Nick Gordon getting called up? I feel like he's been a, a prospect forever. There's Mike Trout die cut. I've heard of him. There's Luis Gohara. He's, he's making some starts these days, right? That is for the M's, Sean Parr with the Mariners. There you go, nice. And we'll have these top loaded before they get sorted and shipped out, of course. Blake Swihart die cut. EO saying you guess you have to watch the replay. You're going to dinner. Well, you can always take it. If you have the YouTube app on your phone, you know, maybe a little earbud right here. There you go. You can secretly watch. There's Jose Praza. You can secretly watch the the, the stream. All right, here comes the dual autograph. Let's see. Thinks people spotted the Syndergaard. That was correct. Wow, and the other guy is Jacob deGrom. Five out of five. Woo! Who's got the Mets? TJ with the Mets. TJ, wake up. Wow, what a hit. Jacob deGrom on top. Noah Syndergaard on the bottom. Five out of five. From 2015. Bowman Chrome Baseball. Look, he still has his minor league hat on right there. 
He's got he saw his hair right there. Wow, TJ. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop whoop. That is strong. At a 250, Jason Worth. What a start to the break. Speaking of Blake Swihart, apparently he had a two run inside the park home run. For the Diamond, he's on the Diamondbacks now? All right. Um, that was 2015. What a start. Let's go to 2016. Two thousand sixteen Tops Chrome Baseball. Five autographs of this one. All right. Good luck, everybody. There's some games in progress. Well, the Diamondbacks game just went final. Diamondbacks destroyed the Pirates 11 to 1. Giants have a narrow lead 4-3 in the top of the ninth over the Blue Jays. And the Cubs Reds game just started and the I think the doubleheader, the second game of the Yankees Orioles game just started too. Atomic, what's going on? Rick, you got the you got the Blue Jays in this one. I think you only have one. I only see you for one spot, right? Yeah, you're one spot. Blue Jays. It's pretty nice. I did not see Hendricks last night. He had three hits himself and only allowed three hits. It's not bad. I feel like he's he's strung together a few good starts all recently. There's Gallo, and there's Zach Godley, speaking of the Diamondbacks. Rookie autograph for Levi and the Snakes. There's Henry Owens, purple, to 275. Hey, Zach, what's going on? Oh, I think you're in this one, too. You've got, you got the Cubs, Padres, and Last Spot Mojo Pirates. There's John Lackey, Aaron Nola. And Darielle Alvarez, purple autograph for Joe P. and the O's. One thirty-four out of two fifty on that one, Joe. Remember when John Lackey was on the Cubs? Remember Steve Aoki throwing out the first pitch? And another Oriole, Joey R uh, Rickard, I think. Not Ry I always want to say Rykard, but I think it's Joey Rickard. Rookie Otto for the O's. Another one for Joe P. I think he's been making some starts. As of late, <laughs> Rex Rex can already feel that he's gonna go hitless. Two boxes in in <laughs> on a ten box break, an hour long break. He's like, I'm giving up. 
That's out of 99, Byron Buxton. That's for the Twins, of course. There's Nick Markakis to 99, who's been playing really well for the Braves. Just late in his career, he's still playing well. And there's Carl Edwards Jr. Not Carl Edwards, the NASCAR driver, but Carl Edwards Jr., the pitcher for Zach. I think the negativity only works for you, Jay. I preach positivity. I always, I always want to lean positive first. And there's Hector Oliveira for the Braves. That goes to Chris Parent. Out of 50. And there you go. Second box in the books. Let me make myself a little room here. All right, now let's move on to the next year after that. We're in 2016. Now let's go into 2017. Donner's Optic Fat Pack, which is right there. It's the white box right here. Real Sci-Fi saying Mark Cake is, is going to be a 3,000 hit guy and not known by anyone. Is he, I don't know if he's going to get 3,000 hits, but... I think, but I think, I do think he's going to be... The best unknown player, I guess. I mean, Braves fans know him. It's good to see you, Real Sci-Fi. We're doing well. Wow, he has 2,280 hits? Huh. Could he get to... Th I mean, he's got a... Well, I don't know. He's 14 years in. He's averaging about 180 hits a season. So he needs, what, another 700 hits? He's at 2280. So let's say round up to 2300. 700 more, 700 more hits. 2, 4, 6... Eight, maybe four or five more years of that. Can he play another four or five more years? He's in his 14th year now. He's 35 years old this season. Can he play another four or five more years? Average about 180 hits a season and get to 3,000. Yeah, he he was great with the Orioles. He might he might even be a more his power has certainly gone down, but he might be a more complete hitter, more complete hitter today than than he was with the Orioles. I wonder, does three thousand get you? Uh, does three thousand get you Hall of Fame? Maybe not for Nick Markakis. I don't think he has some of the other numbers. He's a good outfielder, but not necessarily a perennial, you know, gold glove or anything like that. But, hmm. Well, these are not numbered. Just checking if those are numbered or not. They're not. But those are considered inserts, so they will ship. These cards are... 
they didn't use enough of the the powder. There's some Marcakis again right there. There's Yelich, still Marlins edition for Yelich. Yeah, get into it, Gilo. Get into that spot random. A lot of great teams in that. In that spot random. There you go. That is numbered 15 out of 99. Last night was pitching really well until some injuries derailed the season. All these cards are stuck together. There's Tulowitzki. Jimmy Connell's wondering what we do with all the commons. <laughs> yeah, like Rex saying, we this how that's how I get right. I, we eat them for lunch. That's how I get paid. Just, and go to the, go to like one of the few local card shows that are remaining. Grind them out for five cents a pop, and that's my paycheck. Now they usually get we give them to the kids around town that visit the store. They often get. Um, we'll, do, we'll all donate them to a local charity or something like that. We always do something with those. Usually, there's like a they they put in a, a light coating of powder that keeps these cards from attaching to each other. But looks like they they did not use enough. It's just like a brick. <laughs> That's actually not a bad idea, Rex. Well, yeah, why doesn't Panini buy back commons and then recycle them and cre create a, you know, a set made of all recycled materials or something like that? That'd be, that'd be kind of cool. All right, almost done with this set, folks. Sorry, this one's taking a little bit longer. That's numbered to 50. Have to separate all these cards. Same with the uh, same with the packaging too. You would think that you'd be able to send back some wrappers. I know they do wrapper redemption stuff at, at like the national and stuff. Um, Gilo, I think traditionally. The, uh, like, you can ask, I mean, 
You can ask different local charities. Go, bur, go, girls and Boys and Girls Club of America will often take uh, some cards, local schools, and everything. So, TJ, what's going on? I could spoil it for you, TJ. I kind of want to spoil it for you. All right, um, now let's go. That was 2017. Now let's go to 2018. Tops Chrome. There you go, with Shohei Otani on the front. Who got thrown out at home plate, I think, yesterday. He's pretty fast, too, so it was kind of surprising. That's the plan, Otani card guy. That is the plan. TJ, you got randomized the Mets. No, I, I saw him. Maybe that was today. I saw him at. I saw the the highlight getting thrown out at home, or maybe he was caught between second and third, and then tried to go home and got thrown out. But no, we should let TJ be surprised. All right. I mean, he's got to wait a while. This, this break takes a long time. Yeah, Kesson Huda had a good night, Johnny O. That's true. Ooh, is Austin Riley called up, Colton? Happy Austin Riley Day, says Colton. That's pretty good. He's a big prospect for the Braves, starting in left field. Yeah, TJ, I can spoil it for you, otherwise... If you don't want to be spoiled, hopefully everyone can respect that as well. At least a $12 card, right? There's Miguel Gomez for the Giants. Juan Pena with that. TJ will watch the replay. Okay. Where, where do you think Kimbrel's going to go, everybody? Still not signed. Dallas Keuchel still not signed. Miguel, Miguel and Duhar might have some surgery. Ooh. A.J. Mintner, four out of five. Wow. That's for Chris Parent and the Bravos. Four out of five, Chris. There you go. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop, whoop. George thinking Kimbrel to the Yankees. Benny's thinking Kimbrel to the Cubs. Save one of those rookie Ronald Acuna Juniors for you. Dylan Peters, rookie auto for the fish. That goes to Carlos with the Miami Marlins. All right, so next one. Next little stack here. There's Cody Bellinger raking. 
There's Daniel Murphy. That's out of 299. What's up, Vince? What's going on? Oh, forgot to miss that Tyler Wade autograph. Sometimes these are hard to spot in this, this year's Topps Chrome. That goes to the Yankees. Jason Scott with the Bronx Bombers. Oh, yeah, Kimbrel's a free agent, so they, don't, they wouldn't have to trade anybody, Rex. Just money. Ray's in the house as well, sub Adam. And there's Scott Kingery, rookie auto. Nice. That goes to the Phillies. Tony Barkey with the Phillies. Yeah, Cubs may not have the money to do that, but unless Kimbrel takes a a deal, I guess. I mean, technically everybody has the money. It's whether they want to pay that luxury tax or not. There's Alex Bregman, green to 99 for the Astros. And that's that. Next box. So that was 2016. No, 2018 Topps Chrome. Are we going moving into 2019? No, we got one more 2018 box. And that's going to be 2018 Panini Diamond Kings baseball. Oh, that makes sense, Benny. Yeah, you're right. Everyone's going to wait until after the draft in June, baseball draft, so they don't have to give up the com compensation pick. All right, so 2018 Diamond Kings. And then we'll start moving into 2019 stuff. Johnny O, what, what's hashtag not good for the hobby? Zion going to New Orleans. Yeah. I mean, good for New Orleans. Great for them. For the hobby, Knicks, Bulls. A couple big market teams would have been cool. All right, here's 2018 Diamond Kings baseball. Let's see what we got here. We've got a Michael Kopech autograph. Nice. Let's get the focus here. Come on, camera. There it is. There we go. Six out of 15 on that Michael Kopech. And that is for EO and the White Sox. Dustin Fowler, that might be a variation. We'll set that aside. Colton says he saw where the Hawks were literally one lottery number away from the number one pick. Hawks getting Zion would, would have been would have been pretty cool. Trey Young and Zion. All right, Memphis getting the second pick. Yeah, literally the two most expensive franchises going three and four, and the two least expensive franchises going one and two. Yeah, but people would have rioted if, if the Lakers got the number one pick, right? People already think it's rigged. There's Altuve, Sepia. Paul Wainer for the Pirates. And we got Bat Kings, George Springer. Bat Kings. Bat Kings goes to Liam with the Strohs. Nice. 
Nice. Are you numbered? This is not serial numbered, but there you go. Game used, though. That's pretty cool. Paul Blackburn, frame, George Brett portraits, Eric Fed. Let's see what else we have here. Chris, everyone see Chris Sale last night? 17 strikeouts in seven innings. It's kind of crazy. Dom DiMaggio and Honus Wagner at the end. All right, next box. Let's do that. Uh, let's do that. 2019 Donruss baseball. Three autos in here. Do I have do I have baseball picks for you tonight? I think so. I've got financial interest in the in the Brewers at plus one eleven. Uh, I couldn't resist taking the Tigers at plus three oh seven, ladies and gentlemen. How can you resist that? They're at home. That's a, that's a little edge right there. So, but they're facing Verlander. And I think they're rolling out like a rookie pitcher or something like that, his first start against the Astros. We'll see what happens there. Um, let's see. Who else do I have financial interest in? I have financial interest in the Miami Marlins, plus 164. I have a little investment in the Atlanta Braves tonight. I've invested in them at minus 126. They're just warming up. And I'm on the Rangers tonight. Road favorites, minus 118. Atomic's already given up. Only I could get the Jays and Skunk. We haven't even done the important boxes for the Jays yet. You want to give up the Jays now? I'll, t I'll take the Jays from you right now. I'll, and I'll give you, what, how many? One, two, three, four, five boxes. I'll give you half the cost of the break back. We'll take the Blue Jays and we'll take that Vlad Guerrero Jr. There's three autographs in this box, so let's keep an eye out for those. <laughs> you would have given up two, Arthur? Man, a lot of quitters. A lot of, a lot of Debbie Downers. We're, not even, we're only halfway through the break. There's Whit Merrifield. George Springer, I think I had an inside the park home run last night. And Eugenio Suarez, I thought it was going to be an autograph, to uh, 49 for the Reds. That, that is false AP. You sound like Rory now. There's Miguel Andujar. A bit of a pinstripe on the right side of that. Uh, 
That's for Jason Scott and the Bronx Bombers. Oh, did you win the? Did you win a home run challenge with that inside the park home run? Nice. There's Josh James. That stamp there. That's out of one fifty. Not numbered, but it will ship. We got Max Scherzer, Diamond Kings. David Wright to 42. There's Aaron Judge to 999. And there's Kristen Stewart to 500. Oh, it's three autographs or memorabilia cards. So we got one. We're looking for two more things. Not three autos. Three three hits, basically. Glaber Day, Glaber Torres. And sensational signatures, Domingo Ayala. Four out of 20. A free agent, apparently. So we'll we'll randomize that. We'll randomize that to someone. Oh, an actor. Hmm. Well, there you go. Um, we will uh, we'll do the randomizer at the end. It'll be the Vlad Guerrero Jr. baseball to the, for the name on top, and the second name will get this. Ryan Redmond says he sells well. All right, I, I don't know who this is. And kaboom, Carter Keyboom. Rated prospect relic for the Nats, Dylan Schuster with the Nationals. All right, so I think that's it for the uh, hits here. We got our three. Let's see if we get some other low-numbered parallels in here. Out of 9.99, there you go, George Springer. And there you go. Rick Barker can now quit his belly aching. Jersey and autograph, Vlad Guerrero Jr., 65 out of 99. Nice, man. See? Got to play to the whistle. Got to play it cool. It'll work out. There you go. Club two home runs last night. Career homer number one and number two last night. There you go. Never doubted, says Rick. Never had any doubts. We could roll back the tape to the beginning of this box. All right, see? I had, I had no doubts. I knew that was in there. See, I was just like, see, don't worry about it. It's there. Yeah. My positivity counteracted Rick Barber's negativity. And that turned into the uh, the pearl of a hit in that Vlad Guerrero Jr. jersey and autograph. Nice. Oh, I see. That was his master plan for me to reverse the curse. It's a good plan. All right. Let's go to 2019 Gypsy Queen baseball. Good luck, everybody. We'll 
set those right on top there. You're welcome, Rick. Thanks for getting in, man. Two on-card autos per box in this one. Almost, we're getting there, folks. We're almost done with this break. Looks like random team one has sold out. And there's only 10 spots left in the pick your team spot random. So we will be doing some prism uh, a little bit after this. And then we'll, we'll go through some orders and we'll see what, what direction everybody wants to go. I see like 30 orders in here, so that's good. Excellent. Thanks, everyone. Okay, so Gypsy Queen time. So in this early game, I've I've made a small investment in the Brewers at plus 111. And they're already up one nothing. Going into the bottom of the first. So there you go. Good start. Astros are also up one nothing. Rex will continue doubting. Oh, I've been I've been pulling you too many one of ones lately. Well, no, that's uh, everyone. That's not sustainable. All the all those one of ones. But we're here to start a new streak, a new hit streak. I did not invest in the Cubs. I did not believe in you, Darvish. I also did not believe in Sonny Gray on the other side, too. So there's really no value on either side. Maybe a little value in the Cubs, but... I don't know. Not really believing in you, Darvish. Looks like Granky apparently left the game with an injury. Glaber Torres hit two home runs today. And looks like uh, looks like Edwin Jackson has set a major league record by making his uh, f making an appearance for his 14th team, ladies and gentlemen. I remember when he was on the Dodgers. He's played for almost half the league. So he's good enough to, he's actually pretty solid. He's good enough to acquire, but not good enough to keep. That's what it seems like. All right, good luck, everybody. He must have a lot of hats. There's the uh, blank front right there. And our shipping team will go through all these uh, all these Gypsy Queen cards to make sure they catch the other short prints and variations. We'll spot whatever we can spot at the front of the cards. Daniel Mengden, Oakland A's, Fidel Cairo with the Athletics. Nice A's autograph. Room for myself there. Gypsy Queen in the middle. And that is Indians edition. Jake Bowers. That goes to Ryan Redman. Jose Ramirez. Fortune teller. Jose Ramirez, Ryan, is number to 250, 175. 
Where does he end up? He want Kimber wants a big contract though. Not sure if he's gonna get that this year. But you think he's gotta play this year, right? Kinda had a shaky postseason last year. So he should, he want you know he wants to play for at least half a season to be like, hey, I still got it. Someone pay me. And there's our next autograph. That's Mike Fultonevich. That is for Chris Parent and the Braves. I think rough start for him last night. Tarot cards. That was our second autograph. So let's see if we can find some parallels here. All right, now let's see what we have in here. The Chrome cards. I've heard these can be autographed. So let's see what we got. First one is Jose Martinez for the Cardinals. Then we have Miggy for the Tigers. And this one is serial numbered. It's Paul DeYoung for the Cardinals. 16 out of 150. That'll be for Darren Smith. And the Redbirds. All right, let's get into some. We'll close out with this, with that box right there. Let's do 2019 Bowman Baseball Hobby Edition, one autograph per box. Good luck. All right, good luck, everybody. All right, I just want to pull up Edwin Jackson. All right, so Edwin Jackson. 03, 04, 05 with my Dodgers. 2006, 7, and 8. Tampa Bay Rays, 2009, Tigers, 2010, uh, Diamondbacks and White Sox, 2011, White Sox to the Cardinals, 2012, Nationals, 2013 and 14, Cubs, 2015, half the season with the Cubs, and then the rest of the season with the Braves. Then the season after that goes to Miami and then gets moved on to the Padres in the second half of 2016. The next season after that signs with the Orioles right, and then gets moved to the Nationals. Spent last season with the Oakland A's and now is spending this season with the Blue Jays. There you go. All over the place. So that's the long and rambling career of Edwin Jackson. Giving new meaning to journeyman player.
Edwin Jackson, when he was with the Dodgers, he, was, he came up as a pretty highly touted prospect. I forget what deal sent him to the, to the Rays, or was he a free agent? trade on January in January of 2006 Edwin Jackson left-handed pitcher Chuck Tiffany which I barely remember were traded to Tampa Bay Rays were traded to Tampa Bay for pitchers Danny's Baez and Lance Carter there you go who has the record for most teams played on Edwin Jackson that's why we're talking about him he's just set the record for Making the appearance. Well, I don't know who's. Someone may have played for more teams, I guess, technically, but he set the major league record, making 14, making an appearance for his 14th different team. That is 111 out of 299 on that speckle. And that is Genesis Cabrera. So there's your autograph out of this hobby. That goes to uh, Darren Smith. And the car. Yeah, I mentioned that earlier, AP, that I just saw that highlight on MLB.com towards the beginning of this break. Blake Swihart with it inside the park. I didn't realize that uh, I didn't realize that he was on the Diamondbacks. I know he got designated for assignment by the Red Sox. I didn't realize that the Diamondbacks picked him up. There's Evan White. Well, one per box in hobby, one per box atomic. That is for the M's, Sean, for the Mariners. I, I, I actually have to. I only saw the headline, Arthur. I, I didn't see actually see the video. But um, I gotta watch it. I don't think Blake Swihart doesn't strike me as, as like. A fast guy, right? So he must have pinballed it in the outfield or something like that. There's Franklin Perez to 125. There's Matt Manning to 250, purple paper. Yeah, Arthur's like not fast at all. Oh, Oh, okay, our, our Rex is unable to pay attention, or he's half paying attention. He's cooking dinner for his for his little brats, his little munchkins. For some reason, they want to eat every day. We'll we'll send him some some of this paper paper comments. It's paper base here, Rex. You can make a really nice stew out of that. Last little stack right here. Yeah, that box I I I got that. My message I got in there. All right, there you go. And one more box of 2019 Bowman baseball. And then we'll see what's in that Inception box. Good luck, everybody. Re uh, Arthur, what? So not Rex. Arthur, what happened to Zach Ranky? I, I saw a headline where he left the game early. He was pitching a gem, and then 
left the game with some sort of injury. <laughs> no, that was Andy Garner, Rex, but he was joking. He was just messing around. Oh, you guys don't know yet about Cranky. Ooh, that's a that's a good uh, that's a good chase, Arthur. I'm working on that John Duplantier rainbow for this set. Oh, but the person on eBay wants twelve hundred dollars, twelve seventy five for that super fracture. Um, I remember when we first started seeing his autographs. TJ was was the one mentioning. I know, I know he was a kind of highly touted prospect, but I think TJ's actually seen him pitch, and he's just like, that guy's going to be great. And he's doing some great work out of the uh, Diamondbacks bullpen. What was that? Uh, there was that... What was that game, Arthur? It was like a week ago, I think, and it was like a 17... That's right, there is TJ. Uh, where there was like a 17-18 inning game, and John Duplantier came in and then like pitched like two or three innings of just some pretty pretty good baseball. Um, I th what are they going to do with him? Are, is he going to be like a future closer or are they going to stretch him out to be a starter? What's their plans? I did not Rex. What well, what what was the what was the deal? Right, yeah. TJ TJ made uh made an investment on him. On Duplantier, he looks great. That was against the Cubs, says Benny. Right, the dude is pretty filthy. Like, kind of got himself. In, he's a young pitcher. He got himself into a little bit of trouble, but then got himself out of trouble. So, pretty great. You heard closer, Ryan Redden. Thinking of uh, stashing him in my. Uh, Fantasy Baseball League. He's still available. Hopefully none of my league members are listening. Um, I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to pick him up. There's Julio Rodriguez. So that's your other auto out of Bowman Baseball. Let's look for parallels. The auto came out a little early. Sean with the M's. I think I want to pick him up in Fantasy. Because if he, if they slot him into a closer spot this year, that could be pretty valuable in my 16-team league. Arthur says they're building him up to be a starter, though, I guess, in the long run. I guess that'd be good, too. Speaking of the Diamondbacks, there's Taylor Widener to 125 for Levi and the Snakes. There's the one per hobby box, Atomic, Logan Allen for the Friars. That's going to go to Zach. There's Leody Tavares, to four ninety nine paper. Jose Abreu, purple paper to two fifty for the White Sox. So, um, Arthur, is that a is that Super Fractor all you need? You have everything else? There's DL Hall to 250. Mr. Smith? 
saying just dropping in to say hi, watching the channel for a while. Finally bought into your first break. Prime cuts via eBay. Well, that's not on this channel, Mr. Smith. I appreciate your order, but if you read your item description, that'll be on a different channel. But good luck, man. It's in, this, it's in a different studio. It's right behind me, but different channel. And the time of the break will be there, too. Good luck. Yeah, no worries, Mr. Smith. Good luck, man. Jason Jaspi will be breaking that for you. All right, and our final box. Arthur's just missing two printing plates and the super. He's uh, finishing a John Duplantier rainbow. Yeah, well, what's that, Arthur? Out of Bowman? Someone has a super fractor on eBay for twelve seventy five. There's Chris Shaw, two thousand nineteen Bowman. Nice. There's Jose Altuve to ninety nine. And behind David Fletcher is your autograph. It's going to be Lourdes Gurriel Jr., 120 out of 200. So a couple juniors for Rick Barker and the Blue Jays. Yeah, that's Uleski's brother. Yeah, no kidding. All right. Time to give away some stuff. There's the Vlad Guerrero Jr. autograph baseball, JSA and everything. That's the name on top. Second name would be the Domingo Ayala. So let's go to random.org. There we go. Let's go back to the list here. So everyone from Levi down to Dylan and everyone in between has a shot at it. And let's roll the dice. Let's randomize that list. Clicked it. Come on, ram.org. Do your dice roll thing. There it is. One and a four, five times. One, two, three, four, and a one. Fifth and final time. After five times, name two names on top. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Joe L. Ranwert, you have the Domingo Ayala autograph. And the name on top gets the autograph Vlad Jr. Baseball. It's Rex. There you go, Rex. So there's the Domingo Ayala, 4 out of 25. And there's the Vlad Guerrero Jr. Autograph Baseball. We'll get that wrapped up nice before it gets shipped out. Thanks, everybody. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That was our 10-box Grand Slam Baseball Mixer. We'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.